I drove to the Corey Harbors from Southside. I went in, talked to um, the editor there, uh, and I said, well, I'm gonna like look around, try to find some stuff, man, nothing there. Well, I don't take instructions very well, so I ended up climbing up in a closet. And the closet had been the, not really looked at since they moved from the, from the Hill District to Southside. And there was the archives, the Pittsburgh Been there since 1966. Two years ago, they probably could do that. The, the courier uh, wanted to have them back in their Southside office because they, they are, they're pretty much under the control of Real Times Media. Real Times Media uh, is this group out of Detroit and Chicago who are the, they are the controllers of uh, five black newspapers. They don't have really a sense of history at all. They don't have really any empathy for history. What they are, have love of is called the American dollar. And, and so they, they have been uh, approached several times by museums and foundations about, about selling that, and, and they don't seem to want to do it, but they're not doing anything with it. So that's where the majority of the archive sits right now, over in Southside. I'm a storyteller. Uh, that, that, that's what I do. So that's where I'll take my stand at, and, and I'll probably continue to do that as long as I can, as long as I can perceive, read, and think, and, 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 put, and put things into to some kind of uh, in some kind of form that uh, others can understand. I was born here in Pittsburgh. I was born uh, actually in East Liberty, and I moved to Homewood when we were one year when I was one years old. Uh, so I, I'm I'm a lifelong resident of Homewood. Um, during the time I moved into Homewood, which is 1945, so to tell you how old I am, Homewood was uh, vastly different than it is today. Uh, it was primarily a non-African American community, and Homewood is the Italian section. So uh, that history goes back to 1832, uh, and it's, it was uh, founded at that time. So what my role is was to uh, uh, begin to expose that entire history and, and look at uh, how, how home would have changed over the years. I'm always going to write. I mean, for years, my uh, the writing I did was primarily poetry. The time I had with the courier, the time I had with the archives have bumped me up a little bit to, to write books. I've written four books already. I'm working on my fifth book now. Because, you know, I feel like everyone as I said earlier, you have to take your stand, but you also have to understand what your limitations are. 